In this video tutorial, we will learn how to ge how to georeference the map in GIS. Georeferencing is basically um, a technique used to link the geospatial features on Earth in GIS by means of some sort of suitable coordinate system uh, within the GIS in GIS. Uh, without georeferencing, we cannot uh, digitize. Uh, uh, data digitize the maps effectively and accurately. Um, in digitization process, um, we first georeference the our map into the QGIS software and then start digitizing. Otherwise, we, we wouldn't get uh, accurate coordinates of the features. So, starting, uh, this is the interface of QGIS version 2.18.14. You can have a different version depending upon uh, your. You can have a different interface depending upon your version. Um, additionally, you have. A, uh, I have a different toolbars at different sites. Uh, you can customize it. These are totally customizable. If you have a different uh, toolbars at uh, locations, nothing to worry about. You can customize it. First of all, you have to uh, download the plugin uh, that is important that uh, without which we cannot perform the georeferencing. Uh, first, you have to go to the plugin phase, uh, plugin toolbar. In plugin toolbar, you uh, should search reference georeferencing. I have uh, this uh, georeferencing toolbar or plugin installed. You must have to check this in order to have uh, your toolbar in raster data. In raster image, you will click the raster uh, georeferencer. It will pop up the window. You will uh, select the uh, open raster button. It will allow you to select uh, any of the raster image that uh, you want to georeference. Um, I have a different sample of a uh, raster images that I will, I would be um, referencing in this video. I have a new version of uh, software, a new version of Google Map that I will be referencing, and some older version. Now, for now, I will select uh, new version. Mm. This menu asks you about the uh, reference system. I will select uh, default, uh, which is WGS84 is EPSG4326. I will select it. Um, Here is a Google map. Um, I have a, um, coordinates of a four known locations. I will just compute four uh, these coordinates and run some built-in um, analysis. Uh, it will generate a file which would be a georeferenced after that we can after that we can uh, get and get the coordinates of any point or any feature among in this map so uh, i have uh, the known coordinates of these points i will just compute uh, these points in uh, this menu so as we know that uh, Easting, it asks about the easting of this point. Um, I have entered the easting 72.974403. Northing is 3.685799. I will hit the enter. Now the second point. I have a second point over here. 73.091349 Northern is 33.45202 Hit enter um, For the third point It's 72.99538 As we know that the Pakistan lies between the um, Longitude of 72 point something and 
as two or thirty three point something. So it's very easy that uh, you can to, to you must remember that the easting value should enter in the easting box. So otherwise it will not uh, your reference correctly. I have a third point. No, who's logging this 33.64223 lastly last point here, which is 73.1 05562 and it's not in since the time so Six hundred six. Okay, I have computed all the points, all four points. At least you have to compute the three points. Um, for now, I am computing four points of known coordinates. Uh, then afterwards, you have to um, set the transformation uh, settings. Basically, you are transforming the physical geospatial data into the GIS, and after transformation, uh, transformation, you will be having correct coordinates of two uh, special data so uh, you can select uh, different options but uh, depending upon the type of analysis you want to run I will select polynomial one type and uh, this is a coordinate system that uh, it's asking uh, I will select WGS84 EPS426 after that, you will set the output location. Now, I have this program name. Output location. Uh, you can check the load in QES when done. Um, it's up to you. You can uncheck it as you wish. After um, setting the transformation setting, you will hit the uh, you start your button. Um, Pastor was successfully referenced, so it is uh, successfully referenced. You can minimize it for now. You can see that the accurate coordinates at the bottom of the coordinate. Uh, before that, it was not uh, referenced. It was not given us the uh, uh, accurate coordinates. So we can import the georeference in the uh, raw file that I have imported and all the uh, georeference process has been applied. So for the reference I can import the file um, in raster layer georeferencing. Uh, this was a file, new for, uh, raw file. I will open it up. It is asking the uh, coordinate system. Uh, in QJS it asks about the coordinate system um, which coordinate system you want to select for your calculations um, it's up to you basically it depends upon the location and it depends upon the accuracy whether you, you are importing your raw data it's well compatible with the um, with what uh, coordinate system you first have to know that uh, if you are creating your own data then it's up to you you can select any of the uh, coordinate system I will select this one. So, um, this is my new file. This is my new file, you know. Um, this is my raw file that I have imported in QGIS. Um, to let you know that uh, I want to show that um, these uh, coordinates uh, you can see over here are not accurate when so you cannot digitize all your data with these coordinates um, so there is a potential need of what you are referencing before you start your digitizing data um, like uh, I have the video reference the file and you can see that the the georeferencing um, basically what did the georeferencing do to that file it just uh, clip your file into the desired location uh, into your uh, coordinate system uh, in GIS so you can see that these are the correct one coordinates correct coordinates you can uh, digitize the data now um, maybe you can um, 
make the shape file you can make the line type point type or polygon type depending on your requirement make sure that you have a correct one uh, um, coordinate system you can name them let's say i will name it like uh, polygons or sectors okay um the last one let's me to save it now let's see sectors here for uh, you must remember that uh, while digitizing your features you must have to create the shape file otherwise you cannot digitize your features and now you have this sector file uh, you are in um, we are live in this sector file uh, sector shape file you can now uh, you can now your digitize your data like uh, creating some polygons and whatever you want to do for example i want to uh, draw some polygon over here to um, show the green line maybe id1 okay uh, this is a green line selected in this way you can digitize data in a correct way um, while you have a uh, coordinate system will in place likewise you can digitize any other map uh, using your referencing so I will uh, digitize some older version of maps um, in roster and uh, we'll go to the georeferencer again the georeferencer button um, I have a roster image uh, I want to select uh, this georeference now um, and this is a handmade cartographic map and that shows the different coordinates coordinates at uh, uh, longitude and latitude at their uh, margins so you have to uh, select the known coordinates uh, points of known coordinates like um, i have a easting and northern matches at some fixed point i will select these uh, points so that we can have a correct reference to the reference so this intersection of uh, easting and northern uh, will let us to so uh, this was the first point this one is the second point 50 and 0 northern Click OK. Third point, we have one thirty and zero. Basically, these are the handmade made old maps that I want to digitize it. These maps can be um, used to point out uh, some archaeological features. Uh, in your new map, your new version of Google Maps. So, here are the four points. And the second, I will select the US 84, 43, 26, PSG. Click OK. Output file must read uh, given a direction. I will give the seven direction. Click OK and then um, successfully geofenced. So you have uh, georeferenced file and uh, these points shows the, um, the four points that I have selected at three pin point and the location of this older version map into the coordinate system of GIS. Thanks for watching this video. You may like, subscribe, and share this video uh, so that we can um, get another update for other videos.